Hi everyone, Al DeMarco here and this is going to be your Tuesday video report coming up in just a moment. Another money saving discount coupon code. They're only available here on the videos. Try to do it at least two to three times a week, probably more from this point forward through the summer as I reward you. Definitely, you guys now playing, you are the most loyal and most dedicated customers out there because, let's face it, a lot of people abandon gambling once the NFL and college football seasons are over. Many more abandon it again after, uh, you know, the tournament, the big dance is over. You guys are the diehards, and believe me, I know what you're like because this is my time of year as well. So much money to be made in the NBA playoffs and in baseball. Yesterday, another free baseball winner, in fact, right here, giving you the St. Louis Cardinals. That's three in a row and four out of five the past three days. But, of course, the big play last night, another 15-dime winner. Now, I will admit, you know, once again, it did not look good on the Dallas Mavericks last night. But how many times have I said to you repeatedly over the years, the one thing I'm absolutely 100% certain of after 25 plus years as a gambler, as a handicapper, is the breaks always even out over the long haul. And the break went in our direction last night as Dallas went on that incredible 15-2 run to close regulation to force overtime and then won the game. That gave me another 15-dime winner, my second biggest play in the NBA last night, not only on the uh, Dallas Mavericks in the side, but it also gave me a five-dime money line winner as well on the Mavericks at plus $1.55, so a very profitable evening as I'm now a perfect 7-0 in that uh, Dallas-Oklahoma City series with my side and totals, the plays that I've given you as premium plays and the complimentary plays as well. And those 15 dime plays now 23, 8, and 1 over the past two years in the NBA, including 18, 6, and 1 this season. So that leads us into tonight's game with Chicago and Miami. And I've got to tell you guys, I'm just being totally honest with you. Here I am, 7 0 in the Dallas Oklahoma City series, but after winning a 15 dime top rated play on Chicago in game number one, I've lost the last two plays that I've had in the Chicago Miami series. It is just one that I don't have my finger on the pulse of right this moment. And consequently, tonight, I'm not going to force a play on Chicago-Miami because I think the best bet is in baseball. So that's what I'm doing, and that's why I'm going to break down this contest for you in just a moment. Uh, and also, as I said, also give you another uh, money-saving discount coupon code. Just a couple of quick reflections, though, about the Dallas Mavericks here. First of all, you know, Dirk Nowitzki last night, I mean, it was like watching a guy play uh, on the playground. I mean, you know, they are hanging over him. I mean, Oklahoma City defenders are draped on Dirk's uniform. No problem. Off balance, fadeaway jumper, no problem. You know, hop back on one leg, kind of shoot this consorted jump shot, no problem. He's hit him left and right. Just a phenomenal shooting performance for the second time in this series, but a, certainly a clutch one for Nowitzki last night. And I told you in yesterday's analysis, the law of averages dictates that Nowitzki, who only got to the line three times in game number three, who had just a miserable shooting performance, I think it was seven for 20 in game number three, and only had 18 points after having 48 and 29 in the first two games in this series, would bounce back, as would Jason Terry, who had been struggling with shot, and the law of averages definitely played out. The other thing that really struck me is, A, Sean Marion has turned back the clock a few years. You know, he is not the offensive threat he once was, and he's not as good of a defensive player as he once was, but he is doing just one damn good job on frustrating, and that's the key, frustrating Kevin Durant in this series. The other thing is, I'll tell you what, guys, you know, Jason Kidd, who last year I was ready to leave it for dead on the highway, I mean, he has really played exceptionally well here in the postseason. I don't know if it's because his old legs really appreciated that nine-day break between the four-game sweep of the Lakers and the start of this series. Um, but, you know, he has more than held his own on the floor, directing the offense, and doing a decent enough job when matched up occasionally with Russell Westbrook as well. And you saw, of course, last night with Oklahoma City, their youth and experience uh, once again betrayed them. Now, as far as tonight, as I told you, I have a best bet in baseball. A couple of hot handicappers, though, you might want to consider. Derek Mancini, 25-dime NBA playoff winner, number eight in a row. That goes tonight, number eight in a row. Uh, Anthony Redd, the number one uh, NBA playoff handicapper at this site the past two years combined with a net profit of 469.5 dimes. Tonight, eighth ever 50-dime NBA play of his career on the Bulls and the Heat. Just as, uh, you know, I mean, Jesus, what can I say? I mean, number one the past two years, can't say much more than that. And a quick congratulations going out to Matt Rivers. I told you yesterday that he had his first NBA playoff 
500,000 star play. This is the biggest play Matt Rivers has. Uh, now 3-0 with those selections in 2011. And I think it's like 32-18 and 18, uh, lifetime with those plays after cashing in last night with the Mavericks. Tonight, uh, a 200,000 star play. All he's done with the 2,000 star plays, including the Heat on Sunday. 17-6 and six run with them. Uh, his net profit in the NBA over the past two months, 3.12 million units of net profit. Uh, let me get you that uh, money-saving discount coupon code before I break down the game for you. It is going to be in honor of the Dallas Mavericks. 15-2 to game-closing run last night. Dallas 15. Dallas 15. You enter that when prompted in your shopping cart. You will save $15 off your purchase today. It's a one-time usage coupon. It's good today only. Dallas 15. Dallas 15. That will get you, once again, $15 off your uh, purchase today. Uh, Dallas, D-A-L-L-A-S, and the number 1515, no space between the word and the number, and that's how you get $15 off. Use it, guys. I love when you guys use these coupons, and my God, you guys really love the coupons based on your usage. Phenomenal, the uh, the uh, way they're redeemed, but hey, God bless you. Save some money. Let's talk about um, Chicago and Miami. You know, one of my other theories, the Law of Averages theory is one of them. I've got the Vern Rule rule in baseball. Uh, we'll get to that some other day. Um, suspension of disbelief. Let's talk about that. Um, I think it's hard for people to realize that the Chicago Bulls, the team with the best record in the NBA this season, the team that had totally dominated in the second half of game number one and steamrolled Miami, could find itself down in the 3-1 uh, hole if they lose again tonight. Um, Yet, I look at this contest, and I keep thinking to myself, am I going to be victimized by my own theory? That's why I'm not betting on this game. That's why I'm not releasing it here other than a free pick, and here's why. You know, I look at game number three, and you see LeBron James having a strong finish, Chris Bosh having a monster game, but hey, it was a three-point game. The Bulls were down by three points going into the fourth quarter. It was right there. They were in the mood, and they hadn't played that well. Here's the thing. They had not played that well. But for the second straight game, they collapsed in the fourth quarter. The Heat go on a 9 nothing run. They will away for the win and the cover. You know, they have scored 160 points, they being the Bulls, in the past two games. That's their lowest two-game total of the season. They've never lost three straight games this year. And Derrick Rose... 15 for 42 the last two games. Well, he says he's going to be more aggressive, try to initiate the offense, drive more aggressively to the uh, hoop. Is Chris Bosh going to have another monster 30-point game? I don't think so. I mean, you know, I've always thought of Bosh. He was a great player on a bad team. Here he's had some moments in the playoffs, 34 and 30, but this is a guy who was missing in action most of the Boston series. Do you not remember that? Especially his game one fiasco. Carlos Boozer stepped it up last night with 26 points and 17 rebounds. Yannick Noah again missing in action. He's got to show up. Luau Dang, who did not play well, uh, played okay, great in game number one, pretty good in game number two. Awful in game number three. He's got to do something here. But, I mean, Noah, one point and five rebounds in 29 minutes. You know, you know, Deng had 14 points and eight boards in 42 minutes, but he really did not play well. And, of course, Kyle Korver still struggling for his shot. And the bench suddenly is not getting any uh, production. Now, on the other side of the coin, will uh, the big three plus uh, Haslam combine for another 81 points like they did in game number three? I'm betting tonight that they don't, guys. I know Miami is 7-0 in the playoffs, but I look at this Bulls team, and I'm going, they've been right there on the cusp of perhaps pulling out a victory in game number three. And, you know, we're in pet competitive in the second half coming back from a big deficit in game number two. So I'm going to grab the five points with your free pick on Chicago tonight. Once again, I'm going to go with Chicago plus the five points. I just can't imagine Derrick Rose is only going to shoot the ball twice in the fourth quarter. Tonight, like he did in game number three. I can't imagine he's going to score zero points in the fourth quarter like he did in game number two. I mean, this guy's averaging 23 points and uh, 6.3 assists, but on 39% shooting in the postseason. Those numbers are all down from his regular season efforts. And the Bulls have only shot like 32.4% in the fourth quarter of the past two games. Again, law of averages dictates, I say the Bulls rebound tonight. Can they win the game? I thought about giving you a money line play. I got to tell you, I thought about taking the Bulls as a huge money line play, but why not be safe and be cautious? The free play instead takes Chicago plus the points. That's the way I think you go tonight. Once again, that money saving discount coupon code is Dallas15. Good luck, everybody, and I'll catch you again on uh, Wednesday.